as you can, as you can not. Do not always have to be drawing people, which you can if you want to, if that's what you like. But remember that you still can work in the laboratory, hidden in the lab, in my microbiology, hidden. <laughs> Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. This video is going to be about the pros and cons of phlebotomy. If you commented on my last video, thank you very much. I love you so much. Um, this video was requested by one of you guys, um, one of my beautiful subscribers. You better be subscribed if you commented on my video or if you watch my video, subscribe. It's not gonna hurt. I'm just <laughs> Subscribe if you do not want to miss any more phlebotomy videos because I'm gonna spill all the tea. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you guys, so moving on. Just moving on. Okay, so number one, phlebotomists play a huge role in the healthcare, you guys. Yes, you guys are so, so essential. Yes. Because why? A doctor, you guys, a doctor or a nurse cannot look at a patient and say hmm it looks like you are better today just by looking at them no you know they need to test their blood and that's why you are a phlebotomist that's why you need to be a phlebotomist and that's why they are phlebotomists just fun fact you guys i used to work at my very first hospital i worked at they told me that the cls the, the person who runs the test which is the scientist they used to go get the blood and then come down and then go to the lab and then run the test and then so on and so on but now of course there's more people so now phlebotomists are out there you guys so that's number one Healthcare providers depend on you because, because the blood draw, you guys, you get facts. You're not guessing, okay? And that's what the healthcare needs. They need facts. They need to know exactly how you're doing. And that's why you need, you know, that's why we need blood draws. That's why we need to poke people. That's why we get paid to poke people. <laughs> you guys okay so the next one you guys a good thing about phlebotomy if you become a phlebotomist is that you don't always have to draw the patients let me tell you a list of things that could happen <laughs> you guys you guys will become so pros that that's actually literally a pro <laughs> because let me tell you um you will look like a real pro <laughs> like professional because to make the nurses look bad I tell you nurses are great you guys are great but not to be mean okay I'm not trying to be mean but they suck at starting IVs not to be mean okay I'm not saying every single nurse but most of them the reason why you guys is because nurses like when they're upstairs or somewhere else I'm not talking about the ER nurses okay the ER nurses most likely they're very good because they're in the ER, they start IVs every hour or every often, okay? And nurses who are assigned upstairs or something like that, they normally come in to the floor with an IV, so they don't have to start IVs. One time a nurse told me like, oh, I normally do it in one IV like once every three weeks, sometimes once every, you know, like stuff like that. And us, you guys, we draw blood every Oh my god, you guys, the other day I was looking at how fast I could be to draw. I'm not exaggerating, you guys. Sometimes I draw a patient, the fastest I've done it is every three minutes. I know, I know it sounds crazy. And this includes me introducing myself, of course, me identifying the patient, of course, me drawing the blood, me labeling. Oh my god. But my normal time, you guys, I'm not exaggerating, is every five to seven minutes. Because my job, my hospital is super, super busy. Super. That literally you're room after room after room. So we, you will become very skilled. Very, very you wanna skilled. You want to pursue your career in healthcare? Like, let's say you want to do phlebotomy first and you want to become a nurse. Oh my god, you guys, you guys will be so good at starting IVs and you will not struggle. That would, That's what kind of excites me about people who are phlebotomists and they're going to be nurses. That's a huge, huge plus. I hope this video is not super long, you guys, but let me tell you more, okay? So, 
I know our job is to draw people, of course, but not every patient means that we need to draw them, you guys. We have add-ons. We have, if you arrive to the room, like let's say you are assigned to the ER, if you uh, arrived at the right time when the nurse is going, going to start the IV, oh my God, nurses are so beautiful and nice because they, if they're nice, because some are not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if they're nice, which mostly they are, they're going to draw the, the blood for you. All you have to do is label, and that's awesome, you guys. Uh, another, um, there's more, you guys, there's more. There's also pick lines and central lines. So those are like pick lines. Sometimes they have it right here on their, it's like a special line. It's not like an IV, it's like more special. It's like different or a central line that means that they draw blood from there you guys so you do not have to draw them there's so many so many heart patients yes like hard people to draw they exist you guys they exist that's why pick lines exist and that's why central lines exist and that's why do not i repeat do not feel bad if you miss a draw because you do have two sticks, you guys. You have the two roll stick. But do not feel bad. Do not feel bad. This if is you where miss. I go with pro number. I don't know what number this is, you guys. But this is a big pro. Is that every patient, you guys, is a new start. Yes, you have two pokes. If you miss, don't feel bad. And I'm telling you to not feel bad. Let me tell you why. Do not feel bad because I did, you guys. I did. I would feel so bad, like, oh my god, what happened? I did two sticks and I would feel, feel so bad. I would be like, oh my god, what happened? <sighs> I would go to my next patient and I'm like, I started to doubt myself. So I'm like, damn it, like, I don't know if I got this. Guess what? I missed again. So, for the bottom of you guys it's all in your head you guys yes it's all in your head it's all about confidence as well so every patient you guys is a new start that's why i love the bottom of you guys if you're scared because you might be a little bit scared just keep in mind you guys that it's normal it's totally normal the more you do it the more comfortable you will be you should watch me now like people like not that I want to show off because that's not what I'm trying to do but people love me honestly because I impress them you guys I look kind of young and people think I am you <laughs> they tell me they usually tell me like oh how long have you been doing this and I'm like oh it's my first day <laughs> just kidding <laughs> no four years ago you guys four years almost five and I'm excited I'm not sure if this video is kind of long, but I have more, you guys, more for you guys, more to convince you to become a phlebotomist. <laughs> you guys, you're in and out. That's a big, huge pro. Oh my God. It's a huge pro. I mean, it's a huge plus <sighs> because there, there will be times, you guys, that you just want to get the heck out of there. There will be times, but it's kind of cool because you're literally in and out in and out <laughs> oh my god another big big plus to become a phlebotomist this is what i've noticed with the ogs you know i call them the ogs because you know they've been there a long time you guys as a phlebotomist if you ever during your career if you ever get tired of, of patients because you might you know you might i don't know most of the old G's, you guys, they work inside the lab. Yes, with your license, you can work in microbiology, you can work in pathology, you can work in specimen processing, and you can work in send outs. That means each hospital is different, you guys. The one that I did work at for three years, I was a specimen processor, and in that department, I would do send outs and specimen processing at the same time. So basically, specimen processing, I hope I'm not getting you guys bored, but basically is where you receive all of the specimens. Yes, you receive urine, sputum, stool, placentas, body parts for pathology, body fluids. Yes, everything you could think of. Yes, we get it. Blood, of course. <laughs> okay, so moving on to the cons. 
to be honest, you guys, the cons, the only cons that I could think of only happen normally at the beginning of the job. Over time, those cons transfer themselves to become pros. Yes. Um, a con that I could think of is that patients are hard to draw. Yes, they're very hard to draw. It's crazy. But do not feel sad. Do not feel bad when you miss. You always have two sticks and you pass it on. Do not feel bad. Pass it on and another person will get it for you. Yes, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Pass it on. Don't worry, okay? As a team, you guys will help each other. You know, if you miss one day, I'll help you another day. It happens. You have two sticks. Don't worry about it. Move on. So, I would say, you guys, just keep calm and take one patient at a time because that's what I've noticed of a lot of people in my workplace that they stress. And I'm like, like, don't stress. But they don't listen to me. But please, you, listen to me, please. Please. <laughs> You guys, let me know how I did on this video. I hope it was interesting. And I have two more videos to record. So I will get to that one, okay? So make sure you guys subscribe because my next video that I have on my list. Oh, yeah. My first day of lobotomy class. You, can, you cannot miss out because I'm telling you, I'm a different person. I'm not the same person I was when I was a student. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and to like because that's a sign for me. Like you're telling me, okay, you like it. That means I will do more, okay? And I will do more videos like beauty hacks and other videos, even blogging. If you guys are interested on that because I will start doing those. Oh my God, you guys. I love you guys. Bye.